you're wondering which of the Everything Presence motion sensors is right for you, then you're not alone. They both look kind of similar. They both have similar names and do similar things. So how should we tell which one is the right one for us? In this video, I'm going to compare the Everything Presence Lite with the Everything Presence One and share what I think is the best fit for you and your smart home based on your needs. We'll go over the hardware, the setup and the features, the performance, and then the price. That will help you make the best decision on whether you want to go with the Everything Presence Lite or the Everything Presence One. So let's get to it. So first up is the hardware. Both of them are powered with USB-C and both of them have millimeter wave and ambient light sensors. The one thing to note about the millimeter wave sensor is that on the Everything Presence One, this millimeter wave sensor is much more powerful than the Everything Presence Lite. So if you're putting a sensor in a smaller medium bedroom, then the Everything Presence Lite might be your speed. If you're putting it in a, a large room, then you might want to take a closer look at the Everything Presence One because it has a 25 meter detection range while the Everything Presence Light has about five or six meters. When it comes to sensors though, the Everything Presence One definitely has more sensors. In addition to the millimeter wave and ambient lighting sensor, the Everything Presence One also has an infrared motion sensor. And in addition to the infrared motion sensor, there's also a humidity sensor and a temperature sensor on board. The infrared sensor is often paired with the millimeter wave sensor so that it provides really accurate room detection. The Everything Presence One also has GPIO pins on the board along with the five volts input header if you wanted to power it that way instead of using the USB-C. Because of those GPIO pins, the Everything Presence One is also expandable. And so when you take the cover off of this sensor, you can see that there's pins on the board for you to add other things to it or add the optional CO2 module instead. Hey, it's Tom from the future. So it turns out the Everything Presence Lite does have GPIO pins on the board. It just wasn't advertised on the main product page or in any of the setup guides. So this means that the CO2 module can work with the Everything Presence Lite in addition to the Everything Presence One. Just thought I'd let you know. In addition, both of them have Bluetooth sensors on board. So you can see that there's a lot of commonality between both of these sensors, but when it comes to just the sheer number of sensors, the Everything Presence One definitely has more sensors than the Everything Presence Lite does. And when it comes to setup and features, however, there are a few key differences here. Both of them have ESP Home pre-installed and that makes it really easy to add both of these to Home Assistant. Both of them have a Bluetooth proxy as well. A Bluetooth proxy allows each of these sensors to scan their surroundings for Bluetooth devices and then send that data to Home Assistant, kind of forwarding along the Bluetooth address that it discovers into Home Assistant. And that lets you set up Bluetooth devices, even if they're not within range of your current hub or your Bluetooth adapter. So that's pretty cool. The features, however, is where the Everything Presence light really shines. Not only does it have the ability to create zones, which allow it to partition what it sees into different sections, but it also has the ability to track targets as well. This means that when targets or people walk within that sensor's range, Everything Presence light will recognize that different people are walking in its field of range. Same thing with creating zones. So you could have a zone for the couch, you could have a zone for the TV, or if it's in a bathroom or a washroom or mudroom, something like that, you could have a zone for the cat litter box, a zone for all the dirty shoes, like that sort of thing. It's really useful to automate different areas based on the zones that you configure with this thing. But the ability to create zones gives you that flexibility that the Everything Presence One simply doesn't have. The Everything Presence One currently doesn't support zones or targets. So in my opinion, the Everything Presence Lite is the clear winner here in terms of features. There are just so many more things that you can do with the Everything Presence Lite compared to the Everything Presence One that I think the utility far outweighs any of the motion detection range that the Everything Presence One might give you. Next up is performance. Now this is an informal test, but I put the two sensors side by side and then walked in their range to see which would be first. They were approximately the same. The Everything Presence One and the Everything Presence Lite took about the same amount of time to detect my presence. As long as you have the max distance and occupancy latency set in the settings, then they should perform the same. So in this category, I give them both a draw. The Everything Presence Lite goes for $39 US on the Everything Presence website, while the Everything Presence One goes for $66. So $39 US 
is a pretty good deal for all the features you get in the Everything Presence Lite. And so if you're shopping only based on price alone, then the choice is clear. You should get the Everything Presence Lite. So ultimately, which one should you buy? For most people, the Everything Presence Lite is the one you should buy. It has a lower price point. It still has millimeter wave detection. It has zones. It tracks targets. And it still proxies Bluetooth devices and is USB-C powered. The Everything Presence Lite is good for most rooms that it will be placed in, as long as they're not too big. If it's outside of the detection range as mentioned earlier, then the Everything Presence one should be the one you get. But for most bedrooms, for most bathrooms, for most hallways, that sort of thing, the Everything Presence Lite is definitely going to be one to buy. With the price of buy one Everything Presence 1 sensor, you could get almost two Everything Presence Light sensors. And I think that's a way better value for most people compared to just buying one Everything Presence 1 sensor. But even if you buy the Everything Presence 1 or the Everything Presence Light, you're gonna need a good hub to connect them to. So check out this video where I go into the comparison of the Home Assistant Green with other smart home hubs. Home Assistant Green is my recommended choice for most people to get started with Home Assistant. So check out that video and I will see you in the next one.